Want some food, Boo? Mm -hmm. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It is 5.05 p.m. and I just got home. And Simba's having some cat grass. Stella's hanging out in her box. She actually came to greet me by the back door. So did Boo. And one thing I noticed when I walked in is that there was a weird smell in the house. Here's Boo. There's a weird smell in the house of cat vomit. So... I've been taking a walk around the house to try to find it. Boo, did you vomit? Who vomited? Who vomited, Boo? Was it you? I checked the rug in my room, which is where I found cat vomit one previous time, and there is no cat vomit here. I checked the rug in the living room where I once found cat vomit a long time ago and there's no cat vomit here. I checked the floor under Boo's bed and there's no cat vomit here. Just kind of stray pieces of cat litter that they must have tracked under here. And this is where I found the cat vomit, on the floor, in the hallway. And to me, this cat vomit looks like it's been here since yesterday. I just turned off all of the feeders and all of the cats ate all of their food except for this. This is Boo's breakfast today and the raw food is gone and the only thing left are these freeze-dried chicken bites. And it's kind of odd that nobody ate those. There's also a bench and field treat in there. It's kind of odd nobody ate those because they usually love them. Today for dinner, the cats are trying tiki cat mackerel and sardines in calamari consomme. The cats have never had this one before. They've had the sardines and they've had the sardines in lobster broth or lobster consomme but they've never had the mackerel and sardines in calamari consomme. And the ingredients are mackerel, sardines, calamari broth, calamari, sunflower seed oil, locust bean gum, guar gum, choline chloride, xanthan gum, paprika, taurine, and then it goes into vitamins and minerals. This is what it looks like in the can. Here is what the food looks like after I mix in some water. I give it to the cats. It's not very appetizing at all, and there's a bunch of field treat on it. Three of the cats are eating their food, Boo, Simba, and Stella, and Splash smelled it and ran upstairs. So, maybe he doesn't like it, maybe he'll come back and eat it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up his plate, because if I leave it there, chances are very good one of the other cats will eat it. And, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see who eats what. I made it very soupy because a lot of times they like to just lick up the broth and then they leave the solids. So I figure if they lick up the broth, it's pretty much eating the solids at the same time. Okay, Stella, come on. I'm going to have to put, maybe I'll pick up Simba's plate for, for a splash. I move Stella's plate over near her. I move Simba's plate over near him and I picked up Splash's plate. Earlier today, I was in a Dollar Tree and I got three new 
non-skid bowls for hydrox these are the stainless steel bowls that have rubber around the bottom so they don't skid across the floor i just gave hydrox half of a can of the trader joe's ocean white fish and Stella and Boo were crying, so I had to give them like a spoonful each so they could taste it. It's 7.29 p.m. And I just walked in the kitchen and saw this. Boo, Stella, and Splash all hanging out together. That's new. I've never seen that before. I just gave Hydrox half of a can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets. We'll see if he eats that. If he does, I could give him more. Boo's going crazy because he wants some. The cat's had dinner, so I don't know why they're going crazy. Meanwhile, I have not had dinner yet, and I'm really hungry, so I want to eat something. I want to relax and eat something. I turned around for like 30 seconds, and he finished that. Like, there's hardly anything left in that bowl. I'm gonna have to give him the other half of that can. One of the things that I did today was buy this cranberry supplement for Stella. This is actually from the vitamin shop and I was looking for a supplement that was basically only cranberry, like dried cranberry. And this says it is a full spectrum herb and it supports healthy urinary tract function. And when we look at the supplement facts, uh, the ingredients in here are cranberry and then the vegetable cellulose capsule, um, rice flour and calcium silicate. All of the other cranberry supplements that I saw had vitamin C in them and some also had D mannose in them. And D mannose is a type of sugar um, that some people say helps with urinary tract infections and I can speak from my own personal experience quite a few years ago I had a UTI and I was trying to deal with it naturally and D-manos is one of the things that I tried and it did absolutely nothing uh, so I'm not really a big fan of using it um, also, apple cider vinegar does absolutely nothing. Uh, that's been my experience. Um, and I have had good experience uh, with cranberry, um, especially for preventative measures. If you ever feel like, you know, things are just not 100% regular uh, in that area, sometimes you can take some cranberry or some cranberry juice and uh, it um, you know brings things back to normal so um, that's why I got this because it's only cranberry and this is what the supplement looks like it's basically just a capsule with some dried cranberry powder inside of it and I think maybe there's a little bit of rice flour also so what I'm gonna do with this is I am going to open it up and sprinkle some of it on a treat for Stella. You're not eating this Simba. It's not for you. And what I potentially and what I potentially could also do is the next time I make raw food for the cats I could even put some uh, cranberry in the raw food uh, because uh, I do see it as an ingredient in some of the cat foods. So that could be another healthy supplement for their food. But right now I just want to um, Give the cats a treat. Uh, Boo and Stella want some of the canned cat food that I give Hijack, so I think what I'm gonna do is split that up and that is what the cats are gonna have today instead of crunchies. I'm mixing up some of the canned food and Boo has been meowing at me. Boo, you want some food? Boo, you want some of the canned food? You want some, Boo? Do you want some? Stella, you want some? Want some food, Boo?
booth purring. The cats are each getting some of the canned food and then I took one of the cranberry capsules and I sprinkled about half of a capsule onto all four of the plates. Basically, I split up half a capsule among the four plates. So they each got less than a quarter of the capsule and we'll see, we'll see if they eat it. Boo is eating his. He's eating it really fast. And Stella's tasting hers, hopefully she'll eat it. And Splash wants nothing to do with his and Simba wants nothing to do with his. So Boo is going to eat Simba's and I just gave Stella splashes. So Boo and Stella will each get two of these little plates and that'll be it. Boo ate everything on his two plates. He did not mind that there was cranberry on top of it. And Stella's doing a good job on her two plates also. Hopefully she'll finish everything and she does not mind the cranberry either. And there we have it, Stella finished her treat. Thank you for watching this Lucky Farrell's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.